Peter Quill. Quill, Quill. Peter Quill, wake up. Ugh. Drax. We talked about this, man. You gotta stop. Your illegitimate child was correct, Peter Quill. Hovat and Camaria will be restored. Uh, d d yeah. Okay, um, we just need to have faith. <laughs> uh, Drax, you're kind of freaking me out, man. I had to share the good news, Peter Quill. You have lost your family. Your mother, the Kree woman. You understand the pain that comes from loss. Drax. But with faith. With the Matriarch's promise, how our families can be restored. I, I, Drax, I don't... You have accepted her promise, have you not, Peter Quill? Uh, not exactly. But, but not because I don't want to. It's just... I have questions. I understand. The Matriarch's promise is overwhelming. Overwhelming is a word for it. It also took me time to see the miracle of her promise. Yes, yes, uh, time. I just need time. I will give you time, Peter Quill. However, I am less certain of the others. The wooden one may come around. But I suspect the assassin and the rodent will resist. Mm -hmm. This makes them a dangerous element to our cause. I must eliminate them. Wait! Why? Because <laughs> they're our family, man. Just give them a chance. It's a lot to process. You truly believe they will accept her promise? I, I know it. Uh, take Gamora. Her dad was Thanos. There's gonna be some stuff to work through before she can accept it. And, and Rocket. <laughs> Where to start? He's literally a walking science experiment. What Nikki, uh, the, the, the matriarch, is, is offering, it's, it's all new territory for him. And the wooden one? You said it yourself. He'll come around. I mean, it's Groot, man. He's our rock. Very well, Peter Quill. Good, uh, good. That's 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 great. Um, I'll, I'll let the others know. No, I will fetch her and bring her to you. How? She's like a million light years away. We have already landed on our planet. Think well, Peter Quill. When I return, she will demand your answer. Hey, Drax! We can talk about this! Great. Yo, Quill, you there? Please tell me you're not dead. Quill? Answer, will ya? Oh, I'm here, Rocket! Oh, thank Flark. Peter? Rocket? Why is my door locked from the outside? Yeah. Drax may have kind of joined the church. What? Seriously? I know, it's it, it's super messed up, Drax. Drax is kind of messed up. He also may have landed us on Sacrosag to find the matriarch. But don't worry. I may have an idea. The llama thing's been chewing through my wall. Cammy did? It has a name? If I can just squeeze through and get to the cockpit. You can release the locks. Bingo! Okay, I'm out. Are you inside of Drax? Not yet. You know what? I'm actually glad this happened. Why? Why? Because I, Flarkin, told you guys that thing would chew everything. But did you listen? Oh, no. Can't listen to Rocket. He just fixes everything. So wait. Are you happy Cammy chewed a hole through the wall or not? 
No, but also maybe. If it means we get out of this. Gonna have to ask Groot about this when he's free. Ugh, so guess who gets to fix the bulkheads when all this is done? Assuming we don't die first. I am Groot. Bet your bark it's me. And if it weren't for me, the Milano would still be floating dead in space right now. You're welcome, by the way. Yeah, we're real grateful that you fixed the ship in time for Drax to hijack it. Whoa. What? What is it? Well, the good news is we're not on the sacrosanct. The bad news is I have no idea where we are. We'll worry about it later. Focus on letting us out. Right. We owe you one. <laughs> Done. Meet me in the rec room. We were flocking waiting for. We gotta ditch this mud ball before Green and Crazy shows up with his new pal, the Kurtakan Matriarch. Rocket, stop. We can't just abandon Drax. Is he even still Drax? I mean, he's been converted. I know. It's just we need to find him and pull him back from the dark side. You're talking about kidnapping Drax the Destroyer. Emphasis on Destroyer. And we've come too far, seen too much awful stuff to abandon one of our friends. Drax is still our friend. That ain't our friend no more. Don't make me pull rank on this, man. Are you pointing your frickin' guns at me? No, no not yet. I just need you to understand how serious this is. We're not leaving. Well, Flark, Quill. It's about Kratakin time you showed some Nords. Fine. I'm in. Any other objections? Nope. I'm good. I'm good. Good. Then let's go find our friend. If there are church forces on this planet, we should have an attack strategy. I am Groot. We've already seen their secret base. It's a massive Flarkin Faith ship. You don't need a dumb planet when you've got a ship like that. Eh, looks broken. Maybe Rocket. Group! Hey, buddy. I was just, uh, checking to see if everything was okay. And it is. Okay. I am Groot. Too bad this translator's busted. I was hoping it might have Groot stored on it, or something. I am Groot. That way I could download it into my translator. I'd love to know what your thoughts are on stuff without, you know, Rocket always filtering it. I am Groot. Actually, hold that thought. Yo, Rocket! What? Can you come here for a sec? What do you want, Quill? I'm busy. Think you can see if this translator has Groot's language on it? It doesn't. You didn't even check! Don't need to. Cheap scut like that don't have rare language packages. And even if it did, it's beyond salvageable. Really? Wait, do you have Groot's language package installed in your translation implant? Do I look like I'm made of units? Only folks who got that language package are rich people. So you actually speak Groot, then? You mean Talinizen? And yeah, I speak it, more or less. Me and Groot been bounty hunting together for a decade before you came along, Quill. When you've been working together that long, you develop a common understanding. I am Groot. 
You say misunderstandings, I say open to interpretation. I am Groot. They didn't go sour. We didn't need those jobs anyway. <laughs> so you guys learned to understand each other over time. And with the help of a spreadsheet of Groot's lexicon, which ain't no easy feat when your entire language sounds like I am in Groot. So there's hope for us yet. I am Groot. You know, I didn't always have a translation implant. I mean, I was feeling Spanish before I left Earth, not that Spanish would have prepared me for all of this. I am Groot. Man, those first few years, do you know how hard it was to get by without having any idea what people were saying? Half the languages out here sound like white noise, weird birds, and messed up theremins. <laughs> I don't even want to know what Rocket actually sounds like. <laughs> TV did not prepare me for the realities of living in space, let me tell you. I'm cooked. Honestly, man, you're lucky you have Rocket. I mean... I know what it's like to be surrounded by people and have no one understand you, how lonely that can be. I'd have been lost. You must have been lost too, before Rocket and... and us. I am... I probably don't say this enough, but you really are an important part of the team. I can't imagine the Gardeners of the Galaxy without Groot. And who knows? If this thing does have your language in it, and Rocket can download it somehow, or hack it, or... I don't know. <laughs> It'd be nice to finally talk to you. For real. Glad we had this little chat. I am awesome. Cool. Just want to make sure you're up for this. Don't matter, Quill. I'll try anyways. Ready to go out there and get Drax back? Ready? No. But the longer we wait, the further he'll drift away. If everything goes right, we'll be back in no time. And if it goes wrong, well, somebody's gotta extract your butt out of there. I know you're ready. Okay, here we go. Not this place. You know where we are? In a flocking lagoon? How many times I gotta tell you people, I don't like water! Hey, I didn't land here, okay? Drax did. Ah! The stuff is gross! Ah, uh, are you kidding me? Ah! Wet fur is the worst! Fuck it! You all right? That's it! I hate water! I hate being wet! And I hate not getting paid! We're not here to get paid. We're here to save Drax. Guys, this is Lamentus, home of the priests of Panda. More religious nutjobs. Pray! They aren't nuts. They're pacifist exiles. Pacifists. That's even worse. You saw them on nowhere? That's the last place I'd expect to see a priest. So how do you know this place? I came here after a job went bad. What kind of job? It involved my sister, and it's not relevant right now. If Drax thinks this is the matriarch's planet, something's off. You know, for someone who's been here before, you ain't saying a whole lot. The village is this way. What do you mean the plants here are strange? Everything here is strange. Uh, tell me we ain't crossing above an ocean. Only part of an ocean. Uh. Don't fall and you won't get wet. Quit worrying, Rocket. Anything happens, Gamora will jump in after you. I will? She will? Yes. Because we're a team. And Gamora's the most sprightly. 
Ugh, I think I'd rather drown. We should sink on our plan for when we find Drax. Shoot first, plan later. We're not shooting Drax. But you were willing to shoot... Found Drax. Where is she? Where is the Matriarch? Whoa, whoa, whoa! Put him down! Drax, buddy, just calm down! No, she called me here! Men lost. Rock in a little help here! Uh. <laughs> Mantis? How did you... What? Oh, that. Lysau once taught me the art of striking one spot and many times. There's an Omphad who teaches me later. Don't worry, Green Meanie's fine. <clears throat> fine what are we doing here, Mantis? I told him to come. On nowhere. I saw time inside his mind. The lies that bind. I mean, what's a girl to do? Whisper a course correct, obviously. Shh. It's okay. Stay with me. Quiet in the dark. Another one of your girlfriends, Quill? Oh, no. <laughs> Not in this time. Come on. The creepy cave's this way. The what now? The creepy cave, where the darkest of our future paths will meet. Dark is an unknown, not as in bad. I mean, it might be bad. But no way can it be worse than the futures I did see, because those were definitely bad, very bad. You don't want to know how bad. Can someone please translate her? I am Gru. The point is, or was, or... Which parts of the point have I made already? Uh, the creepy cave. Yes, that's right. Big strong heart carries so much sorrow inside. In all futures, he's the one who turns. And in some, we save him. Here! And here we are, where the Kotati take root. So, just to be clear, there's a timeline where me and you... Peter, focus. Right. Uh, what's a Katati? I am... Uh, plant people, like Groot, but, uh, lame. The Kotati are a highly evolved, highly sacred race of pacifist beings who grace us with their meditative powers. They also guard the secrets of the ancient cave. Can they temporarily unguard it? Oh no, they take this duty quite seriously. Our only hope of entering is to appeal to their infinite wisdom. <laughs> and we're in! What are we looking for in here? She doesn't know. Something that's gonna help Drax. We're all just taking the word of this space case. She's not a space... Ooh, spooky! Spooky is right. Uh, more like deadly. Are we sure about this? Nope. Maybe Drax just needs to sleep it off. I mean, he seems fine. 
this. My telepathic control won't last, little fuzzy. Only Green Meanie's friends ever help him see through the Matriarch's lies. And it only happens here. Watch out! Double floor! Yeah. I almost didn't sense that one in time. Everyone just remember we're here for Drax. Though, it would be easier if we had some idea of what we're looking for. Oh, for sure. It's always easier when you know things. Like, no, no. But you don't. No. Whoa! This place is really unstable. Fuzzy Cave's gonna kill us all. Oh, well, no, not all of us. Not this time. More water? What's wrong with this lousy planet? Come on, Rocket. A little water's not gonna hurt you. Death by drowning is actually quite common throughout Little Fuzzy's alternate futures. I have heard so many of his panicked final gasps. I'm sure it'll get drier from here on out. Oh, you are so wrong, Stir Fry. Poor Little Fuzzy. Stir Fry. Uh, yeah! Giddy up! Crap! That was kind of close. That one sometimes gets the mora. I doubt it. You are sure we're headed the right way, Mantis? I think so. Okay, well, it's too wide to jump here. We'll need to look around, find another way. Let's take a look through here. Maybe there's another way to cross. We could try using that huge crystal somehow. I think I've got something over here, Peter. All right, Gamora, let's get up here. Why don't I just blast some of these rocks? Oh, no. no! I don't trust them not to kill us. What's your reason? I have seen so many futures where a little fuzzy dies in this cave. Rocket, you feeling lucky? I got this. Rocket, just stay to the side and try not to die. Times Drax has done something for us. Name one time. Remember when he saved our butts in that mining ship? Uh, this is a lot of trouble to go to for a freaking colleague. Tell us how you really feel. I just did. I mean, if push comes to shove, we can get another big guy. Admit it. Drax means a little more to you than that. Fine. Maybe a little more. But not a lot more. Not die in a cave level more. What do you mean it's not a good look? I'm being honest. Drax has definitely been there for us before. Like on Seknarf. First time we got jumped by the tiger with the squid face. Who? Oh, Stumpy? And the second time we got jumped by Stumpy. Uh, Mantis? Should we be worried about this fog? of those things living on this planet. Maybe they weren't native to Seknar? And this is where Hellbender first got them? Or maybe Hellbender's here, tracking us across the ends of the galaxy. Because she wants us dead. Lady H wants us dead. You realize what that means? We're all gonna die? I think I see what he's doing. It means we're a team. When we piss someone off, we piss them off together. I'm gonna assume that sounded better in your head. Water. Fog and monsters. What's the fucking deal with this place? There has always been a great power here. The priests tell tales of those who were here before them, and what wonderful things they could do. 
I don't remember hearing anything about that. You weren't ready to listen last time you were here. I am Groot. Why were you here again, Gamora? Oh, I know the answer. It's the same across all timelines. I told you. I was here to recuperate. I, I was in a bad place. We had to keep an eye on it. Save Drax? Yep. I like it when you listen. It's a little rare. In all timelines. Har, har, har. Oh. I'm Groot. Groot says we're being watched. Did he actually say that? Groot says we should check things out over here. The priests never talked much about these caves. You sure that's the right way, Peter? I'm sure that it's not, but let's not tell Star Guy. He needs to learn for himself. I can hear you! Even better! This place reminds me of the quarantine zone in all the wrong ways. And I. Watching. Nebula wasn't your. What the floor? There's two of them. Two of what? Wanna talk about it? Mantis, do these things have anything to do with what we're looking for? Inconclusive. But I'm thinking no. Guy, but I am officially sick of this stupid cave. I am Groot. Who? Bug Lady? She couldn't guide her way out of a bathroom. See that, Green Meanie? That's where we need to be. We'll each need to face our fears. Some fear, some not. But facing them is most important. You know, running is sometimes good too. For you, yes, Star Guy. But only until it isn't. You'll see that soon enough. No, wait, you should know that already. Don't you remember your dreams? How do you know about that? Yeah, no, I just do. Over here. You, uh, see something out there, Mantis? So many things, too many things. Shadows of a civilization that lived here once before. Forlorn faces that can see like me, horrors yet to come. 
And other shadows, too. Ours, not ours, a figure that's watching us now. Or was watching us then? I see rocks and uh, crystal things. A statue that looks like a face and more rocks. I like yours better. I see something else. I see friends willing to die for another friend. Yeah, well, I'm hoping it doesn't come to that. Me too, Star Guy. Me too. Green Meanie's lost in an ocean of lies. We need to bring him ashore, but we also need to remain grounded in the positive. We're his lifeline. Positivity isn't exactly our strong suit. You always underestimated yourself, Gamora. The crystals are kind of pretty. Yeah, I've seen better formations. These look like regular silicates. Oh, there's nothing regular about the way they resonate, little fuzzy. Then they might actually be worth a few units. To the right buyer, of course. Where are you going, Quill? Just following my gut on something. Don't let your thoughts wander. It's not safe. Keep focused on Drax. I am good. Yes! Caring for Cammy. Wait, who's Cammy? It's a long story. Ooh, my favorite kind! <laughs> Drax really did seem to care about the Nova kid, didn't he? Always wanting us to do right by her. Even when it was clearly a bad idea. Of course, little Fuzzy cared. Under that angry exterior is a heart of gold. Ah. Your bark's crawling. I'd almost jump into the water if it made the creepy crawly feeling go away. Rocket, think you can crawl in there? For what? So I can get eaten by whatever lives inside? Stone faces. Whatever we're looking for is beyond or beneath or behind one of the faces. What do you say, Rocket? I bet you can find us a way back there. Found another way. Just me or them crystals look super dangerous. Don't worry, your fuzzy little head. <coughs> uh, smells like rotten spike eggs in here. Okay, setting the charge. Stand back! I don't think this is the one where he kills us. There's that feel again. The fur on the back of my neck is sticking up. I feel it too, like a pair of eyes watching you. Hey, group, buddy, think you could lift this? <laughs> giving him scud about it. Still, earning his trust, even a little, it means something to me. And you were worried about joining after... No, there ain't nothing you need to know about me. Keep your bark hole shot. You find anything, Peter? Nothing in there that could save Drax. Is there another face somewhere, Mantis? Mantis? Yeah, this cave is multifaceted. Get it?
What else did the Katati tell you about this place, Mantis? Did they happen to mention the park where it's super dangerous and stupid to enter? Oh, yes, it's... Very dangerous. Ancient, even. An ancient danger. Or what? Still is. Something. That's good. One more time, Groot. Thereabouts.
to get on those crystals, Groot. I'm Groot. Just let Quill get out there first. I don't want you falling. Definitely remembering something now, I think. We need to be careful here. I think what you're seeing is some version of me pushing you off a cliff. Oh, little Fuzzy. Your volatility is surprisingly consistent through all versions of time and space. Mantis, back in nowhere, did you know what the church was going to do? I don't know. I see so many different things at the same time, it's sometimes hard to know where I am. Do they try to take over the galaxy in all realities? Not all, but most. Sometimes it's so noisy, like a bajillion ships taking off at the same time. Do you even have a chance of stopping them? Oh, yes! But only if you cure Draxy Waxy here. The five of you are the only ones who ever do anything. of a thousand lies, I think. It's gonna help us save Drax? It tries to keep us from saving him. We seek something behind the face, beyond the lies. You want me to blow it up? That shouldn't be our answer, Dan. Scott! Watch out, everybody! Nice landing, Sergei. Uh, thanks. You don't usually make it. The Kotati mentioned the faces in the dark before, but I always thought it was metaphorical. Bug Lady is absolutely bonkers. Of course I'm angry. I'm what? Can you get us through here, Gamora? Larkin, I'm going in. No, you mustn't. You don't want me to cut the thing? Wait, no, not you. Something bad is about to happen. Trusting our instincts, Quill. Bug Lady said the face is keeping us from helping Drax, so we gotta destroy it. Little Fuzzy, don't do whatever it is you're about to do. No, no, don't no, I'm done with all the riddles. Don't not, mm -hmm. not do whatever you have to do. Let's just hear did. Mantis out on this, okay? Give me a tick to think, okay? What if the whole place collapses? Then at least you wouldn't have to argue with him anymore. Not helping. Rocket, go! Rocket! Feels like I see this a lot. You want to know the plan? Yep. Then you run! One. You can say that again. Oh, I will. Uh, Mantis. Where is the matriarch? This is the one where I fail. It's okay. The one where I fail is the one where you don't. Shh. Stay with me. Hey, guys! Check it out! I'm totally not dead! <sighs> what? You almost killed all of us! No more blowing things up, Rocket! Ever! You're gonna regret saying that. Sergei! Are you Spartoy? Why didn't I know that? Maybe you aren't always... Or I forgot. What? Those guns do something again, Quill? He saved Drax after you almost killed us all! How'd a gun do that? Show him! Sergei! Together 
like a zipper. And that's how it's done. Eh, me exploding stuff is still better. It's really not. Next time we're in a huge fight, you're gonna beg me to blow stuff up. Beg me. Next time we're in a huge fight, I'll make sure to remember that. More of that weird fog. Be glad you ain't this close to the ground. Oh, little Fuzzy never dies from gas in here. Just falling, crushing, Chitauri, Wait, water. Wait, hang on. Did you say Chitauri? Oh, I did, didn't I? Such a funny sounding word. This is impossible! <gasps> I thought I'd never Ooh. see these markers again! I hoped I never would! <laughs> Fireworks! Uh. 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 
That's a Nova Corp. Oh, crap! Just killing loopy cops now. Music to my ears. Does anyone not hate us? I say let them. Fuck it! Blast them! Let's try that again, shall we? There's your chance, Gamora! You get the point? Fog of fear. Faced fully forthright. You okay, Mantis? Oh, hey, Gamora, you look less depressed. Wait, we went over that already, didn't we? Yeah, we did. That thing of yours is still bothering you, though, right? What thing? I'm fine. Let's just focus on helping Drax. <laughs> He's gonna be upset he didn't get to fight all those things. Uh, just how far down does this cave go? Legends say the entire planet is hollow! Heads up! More than rock monsters. Maybe we just got off on the wrong foot. They're rock people. I don't think they're looking to make a man spoil. Oh, maybe I can help. I think I speak their language. Think Drax won't hear all about it either. Oh, is this the one where little Fuzzy does something heroic? Hard to say. I think it's pretty easy to say he won't. You, most of all, should be willing to give someone another chance, Gamora. I'll have to tell the priests about the big baddies down here. Once we cure Drax, maybe we could capture a couple. What's the flock for? Maybe give them to Hellbender as a peace offering? <laughs> uh. 
don't make no sense. What doesn't? How come everything attacking us don't attack the other? Probably the weird fogs affecting the plants. This looks like something Gamora could use. Oh, I remember a story! Lysa once spent 40 revolutions by the cave entrance, all by himself. Except for, you know, the Kotati, but they're not known for their conversation. What for? I think it was because he didn't care for his house guests, but didn't want to be rude and tell them to leave. an entire planet be hollow? Doesn't it need a core or something for gravity or atmosphere? Got any other science words you want to throw out there, Gamora? Electromagnetic field? <laughs> um, guys. I know, little fuzzy. And it is the only way forward. What's happening? He sees what lies ahead. And I see what lies behind. No way. No flarkin' way. It doesn't seem that wet. It's like medium wet. I ain't walking through a flarkin' monsoon! Maybe there's a way to use those plants that divert the water. We're a team. We'll figure it out. Are we seriously gonna let this keep us from saving tracks? Sure! You save him while I drown! How does it even grow down here? I don't know. But those big leaves could be useful. Like a dam. Dam what? No, it's... Never mind. How does it even grow down here? I don't know. Those big leaves could be useful. Like a dam. Dam what? No, it's... Never mind. Yes! It's just a plant plant, not a you plant. But we ain't got much choice. guys do without me? Yeah! Where, oh where, would we get another gun? Gamora, let's climb up there. Get eyes on the problem. The problem is that Rocky needs to suck it up! Yeah, good luck with that! In Little Fuzzy's defense, he has died drowning in far less water than this. Exactly! Wait, what? This doesn't seem absurd to you? He's got a thing with water. What do you want me to do? You're supposed to be his leader. Have you met Rocket? That's one big beanstalk. Fear the almighty Star-Lord. Say something? God, nope. Rocket doesn't seem that bad. Translation Rocket don't. Rocket don't like wet. We get it. It's a scary dark cave. We're all probably going to encounter things we don't like. True. But nothing as much as Little Fuzzy doesn't like getting wet. 
Never underestimate someone's deeply rooted fear, Sir Fry. Especially when you do not understand the root. Uh, it's actually kind of refreshing. Like a quick shower. What do you say, Rocket? I ain't ever showered either, and I ain't gonna start now. Easy, Green Moon. They'll figure it out. Hey, Groot, can you get me up there? I am Groot. He's on his way. Just tell him how high. What's a big-ass plant doing all the way down here? The priests call it Buros, giver of light and life. In our case, I settled for some shelter. Just like that! Please, don't give him an even bigger head than he's already got. Hey, if I jump, you can catch me, right? Guess we'll find out. That's... Not very reassuring. Just don't screw up the jump. <laughs> Why don't we just leave him behind? Focus on saving Drax. He'll still be here on the way back, and if he isn't. Meh. Too bad you don't have these sweet guns, Rocket. Keep it up, and I'll swipe them in your sleep. I could try blowing it up, I guess. No! Remember last time you blew something up? Okay, fine. Yes! I can't believe that worked. Half work. Come on, it's like 50% less wet. I'm 0% interested. No! 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 We must have missed one. Burn! I think we're making progress. Huh? What's your hurry? What? I told you to go before we left the ship! Suddenly missing Drax's anecdotes about Katath. Oh, you know he has some Katathian fairy tale related to our current situation. Like the Katathian equivalent of Jack and the Giant Beanstalk. Red by rocket go! Huh? Moses. Are we supposed to know who that is? Part the seas guy? Oh, with the tentacles, right? What? No! Anyway, thanks, Quill. Really. I was pretty sure you had tentacles. What do you say, Groot? Now that we got the whole team together? I am Groot. Absolutely. A dry rocket is a happy rocket. This is you happy? Oh, yes. You should see some of the dark versions of Little Fuzzy. Or maybe you shouldn't. This cramped corridor ring any bells, Mantis? Pretty sure this is the wet part. But what now? I thought we just did the wet part. Oh, it gets worse. Much worse. Guys. Everyone okay? I'd be seeing stars if I could see anything at all. Yeah, this ain't good. So, about all them futures where we die. I am cool. 
Has he always been able to do that? I am cold. He says he don't like showing off. Thanks, buddy. I am cold. No, I don't gotta tell him. Ooh, right. The thing that you tell us in the dark. It's really important. No, it ain't. Shut up. I am. You're among friends, Rocket. It's nothing, okay? Just... The lab I was in detests on me in tubes of water. And it sucked. It really, really sucked. Sensory deprivation experiments on half world. I heard of those. Sensory deprivation was like a vacation compared to the other things. And that's why you hate getting wet. Clark. I had no idea. Don't make a big deal out of it. Just prefer to keep dry is all. So how long do we gotta wander around smashing our shins on rocks? Imagine it's a metaphor. You're in the physical darkness, and that reflects Green Meanie's mind. We can double back along Groot's path, and then try to find the exit. Groot says stay close to him. At least you'll be able to see. Sleepover we had? I miss that. Staying up all night, talking, getting a little tipsy. That wasn't a sleepover. We were roughing it in the mountains while being stalked. Still, that was a fun night. I mean, the cactus juice did have unexpected but fun side effects. you blow. You're welcome. I had no idea Flora Colossi could become bioluminescent. There's a lot about him you don't know. Ooh, this part. Ooh. Okay, anyone else getting really fed up with little Miss Cryptic? <laughs> Pretty? <laughs> Give me a break. Seems less dark through here, and less wet. Works for me. Mantis, anything in particular we should be looking out for? I'm trying to remember. I think this is where it gets loopy. Uh, there's that creepy fog again. It's always here. Always. Until it isn't. What's that supposed to- Shh. I don't- More Hellraisers. Wait, yeah. But it ain't those Flarknards. It's them creepy eyeball things from the QZ. I'm definitely hearing Hellraisers. Then you ain't hearing right. It's eyeball things. I can't tell. It's not clear. Well, it's clear to me. These ears don't lie, lady. I think I can tell the difference between Lady Hellbender's minions and some giant bugs. Morris has gotta be right. We already know Hellbender's goons tracked us here.
place has a mind of its own. Not mind. Force. Can we go back? I'm not even sure we're back with Lee. Anyone else getting deja vu? It all looks the same with this fog. Well, it don't sound the same. It's them jelly things from Seknar. That explains Stumpy's cousin. No, it's Novacor. I hear voices. How can you not tell the difference between monsters and people? It's not that. We're clearly hearing different things. It's definitely those jellies from Seknar. I can hear their spiky things shooting out. Sums it up. At least there's a way out now, I guess. Huh. Okay, now that's them bouncing eyeballs from the QC. No way. I'm not doing this. Something is clearly messing with us. Fitari? Okay, well, that's just wrong. You're worse than her. Those overgrown lizards make clicky sounds. You got moss in your ears. I hate to say it, I mean, I really hate to say it, but it does sound like those squishy eyeball things. They sound like all the flark and scut bags that have tried to kill us recently. Shh. What do you mean, shh? Star guy's right. Shh. Right about what? Shh. There's a new way out. So it was nothing. I think it depends. It's got something to do with the freaky fog. Every time you name an enemy, it has the power to make that enemy appear. So the key all along was to keep quiet? Yeah, like that is a The source? It's not done with us yet, Guardians. Yeah, well, let's just keep our eyes open and our mouths shut in now. The fog entity has retreated for now. There's no immediate risk. Yeah, no offense, bug lady, but nothing you say means anything anymore. So the fog is an entity now? Yes! Sort of. Obviously, if some fog monster's trying to kill us, it means we're getting closer to whatever it is we're looking for. That kind of makes sense? If this fog monster can make bad things appear, maybe the opposite is true. Like if we all say cure Drax, maybe that's what we've been looking for the whole time. I wish, Star Guy, but no. One time she gives a definite answer. Possible timeline, we all get smushed. Great! Uh oh. 
You hear that? Let me guess. Further down? Only if you want to save Drax and the whole galaxy. Let me get back to you. Okay, okay. Look, guys, um, <clears throat> I appreciate what you all did for me back there with the water thing, um, but following the bug lady any deeper is officially stupid. Rocket. No. Fog monsters? Cave pigs? Wet waterfalls? Technically, all water... <laughs> no, no, Quill. She doesn't know where we are. She doesn't know where we're going. She doesn't know what we're looking for! Mantis, are we hot or cold? Room temperature. Okay, <gasps> okay! This is crazy. She is probably crazy. It's not about her. It's about us. I am super proud of us. Because we've never gone this far for anything before. Oh, this is the one where you inspire them. Just think about who we were when we started. Um... Well, you were a two-bit broke pirate who couldn't even outrun a tree. Exactly! And you were a two-bit bounty hunter. Just as broke as me, just as depraved, self-centered, mindlessly chasing every unit, bar, contract, bank to rob. I still like many of those things. So do I! But none of those things are why we're here now. Right? You're down here, kicking ass for Drax. Not Drax the Destroyer, not Drax the Rampaging Criminal. Drax, man! Friend. And Gamora, you've gone to the ends of the galaxy to hunt people, to hurt people, to get revenge in what I can only assume are some excruciatingly painful ways. But doesn't this feel kind of good? Going this far to help someone you care about? Oh, it feels so good. And uh, Groot. Uh, he says you don't have to. No, no, I do. Because we all need to learn something from you, man. You never complain, but, or if you do, I don't catch it, but I, I, I'm pretty sure you probably definitely don't. You're always there for us, and that's what this is about. Us. Growing together as a team, following a crazy lady into a death cave because one of us needs help. Because we are a team. Help, we're a family. We're the fucking guardians of the galaxy. Yay! Really great speech, Quill. Why didn't anyone stop me? You're on such a roll! It really was one of your better speeches. Or slice him up! Knife to meet you! These imposters are just gonna keep coming! It's this damn fog! Hey, fog! I sure hope a bunch of units don't sneak up on us! It's not an ATM rocket! I guess Finally, this is... 
definition of an even fight. fight. The face of a thousand lies. <laughs> Rocket, I got you a way in. Got the wrong guy. Never thought I'd say it, but evil me looks good. And I'm having Rocket, fun would you mind? Him. I'll pass on that. In all timelines, the spooky statue is the source of the fog. Head on a swivel! <laughs> Rocket. You see what I really? see? Yeah, I can get in there. Past time someone got stabbed. Uh, uh, I okay, so let's me. blow this thing to hell. Don't know how much longer I can hold this off, Peter. Don't rush me. Needed help. Bunch of them. Rocket, man. Yeah. Can we please just save Drax already? Warm. Very, very warm. I think she wants us to jump in the hole. I may not know what we're looking for, but I know it's down there. Okay, let's finish this, because I sure as flock didn't get all wet for nothing. We need to hurry! I can feel the Matriarch's lies getting bolder in Green Meanie's mind! It's getting stronger! Oh yes! This is the 
place. I was pretty sure we'd find it somewhere down here. Now you know what we're looking for. Something sad and sulky, licking lingering wounds. <laughs> if it's here. He's totally gonna feed us something awful down here. I know it. Should we expect a fight? Probably. You guys aren't very good at the whole de-escalation thing. Doesn't matter what's down here. If it can bring us back our grumpy Catathian, I'm all in. And the rest of you should be too. Come on, guys. We're the freaking guardians of the galaxy. Um, is that supposed to be me? I've heard you make that speech so many times. And then Gamora says something like, We're going to need Drax? Uh-huh. And then little Fuzzy says, Nope, I ain't playing this game. And then Little Fuzzy usually says, If I get eaten, I'm gonna be real pissed, Quill. We're here. Home of the healing light. Source of the cure. Origin of Raker's power. It's a cocoon? Told you she was gonna feed us to some giant bug. Or maybe she's the bug, and that's some kind of external digestion. Oh, gross! Please tell me Drax is the only one who's got to go in that creepy egg sack. So the shepherds found fresh flock. <laughs> Foolish followers. Think fast, beard butt! You know not the gravity of your treacherous trespass! You cannot quell a god! Prepare for oblivion, interloper. Oh, what's this one? Okay, Green Rainy, you're up. <sighs> Found you. What wayward wickedness is this? Nasty uglies from that busted noggin of yours. Hey guys, it's him! Aaron Witchcraft! No, wait. Aiden Warsock! Ashley Warsaw? Adam Warlock? That's it! The Golden God guy! Hold on. This guy's Raker's old divine whatever? Looks pretty good for a dead guy. Were you not sent by the Sanctimonious Shepherd? Us? With Raker? Not a chance. We're trying to shut his ass down. See? Friends. Okay, big guy. And we go. Come on! All the ones where we die already happened. Oh. <sighs> Raker's got half the galaxy going cuckoo bananas. Her friend included. I swapped your ass for a newer, younger, blue-skinned model. So... Can you help us? Mantis seems to think you can cure Drax. My heavenly healing is veiled malignance. A first folly I swore never to repeat. Ugh, can someone translate this guy? He said no. What protection I can proffer is to remain reclusive. Not this time, Goldie. The pieces need to go back together. We just gotta get you all closer to the puzzle. And that would be... In here, of course. Whoa, wait, let, let's talk about... What the butt? It's 